Hello and welcome to this DVD course. Uh, my name is uh, Grandmaster Leon Luke Mendonca. I'm from India and my current rating is uh, 2541. Um, so I want to give you a brief introduction on this line, on this course which I've made, on this Fritz Trainer DVD that I've made, which starts after Knight F3, D5 and uh, E3. So the main, the main uh, idea of this opening is to avoid d4 and with theory nowadays i mean there is um, there's too much theory basically and uh, d4 is one of the main openings definitely which has been studied already for centuries now and has been played for so long and um, this this line with knight f3 d5 and e3 is quite modern and uh, i like i like this line because it kind of avoids theory but it still has so much ve venom in it and it's actually slowly it's kind of gained already popularity in recent years Th and even in uh, classical games i mean it's not only for like online games or rapid games even in classical games i think this uh, line is quite quite dangerous and um, yeah i mean i've played it quite a few times myself i've played it a lot in fact with pretty good results and uh, especially when my opponents have uh, opponents have not been prepared, I think uh, I have had the best results. And really, I have had very nice positions from the opening with this move. So basically, the idea of e3 is to get the move uh, c4, but without allowing the move d4. So we are just trying to develop without playing d4. Whatever at all costs, we are just developing around this around this setup with d4. And it, it doesn't look too convincing. It doesn't look really very strong. But in fact, there are, I've, as I've uh, showed in the DVD in all lines, white always has some very cunning ideas, which are surprisingly hard to meet. And um, I myself have faced it with black and I've played it with white. So I think um, I've, had a, I've uh, done a fairly good analysis of this line. And uh, I believe that um, it's pretty, it's pretty... It's a pretty strong weapon to use in tournament practice. And um, in the DVD, I have covered the lines with C6, systems with C6, where black counters the move C4 with C6. And this mainly leads to kind of, kind of Slav structures. For example, knight F6, C4, C6, we, uh, we go knight C3. And this mainly leads to uh, Slav structures and players who play Slav, the Slav defenses after uh, first move, d4, d5, c4, c6, knight, knight f3, knight, knight f6. And this is basically the Slav defense. So when uh, players who play Slav would most probably try to do this, and I have covered this in great detail where we avoid the going into the main lines of the Slav where we go d4, and instead we play some lines where... Um, we have very, uh, like, we even keep some attacking options on the king side, which um, are quite underestimated, I believe. And, um, yeah, they are not very, very uh, explored, I should say. They are, not, they are not well explored, and I believe white has good chances in this line. And, um, yeah, other than, uh, other than the systems with c6, c5 is also quite natural, which I have examined quite uh, in great detail. This line with c5 where again we avoid d4 but in some cases we do play d4 but it leads to kind of uh, different uh, different uh, structures which um as i've said they're not they're not too well explored and i believe white has uh, very good chances and uh, basically what what i've noticed in this line is in some cases you have a setup and you can just easily stick to it and um, it's not easy for black to find moves so you can easily gain an upper hand on the clock when playing in tournaments against your opponents and you are completely familiar with the plans and ideas and uh, that's why i believe you should have an upper hand against your opponent who might not be uh, very well um, versed with these with these lines with net f3 and e3 and i've also covered uh, uh the systems with e6 which are also quite popular and um, here, as usual, we refrain from playing d4. And as I have analyzed in the in uh, in these lines with e6, it is quite difficult, in fact, and black for black and white actually has some really strong attacking ideas. And 
I've seen like in most in some lines where Black plays natural moves, he just all of a sudden ends up in a losing position. So that's why I believe this line with um, just playing with the setup of knight f3, e3, c4, b3, and bishop b2, it can actually become quite dangerous for black. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I believe it's underestimated. And nowadays, people are slowly uh, playing more of this, of these lines with knight f3 and e3. And um, there are, uh, they're actually getting quite some good results with white. And that's why I believe it's quite cunning. And yeah, over here, for example, I've investigated many lines. I've investigated, I've investigated after knight c3, b6. I've investigated c5. And of course, bishop e7. All of which are quite popular and uh, uh, quite principled in play. And the, after lines in c5, after we, I'm recommending the move b3. And here I've examined... Uh, uh, possibly almost every possible setup for black and in all cases i have found that we have quite some good chances as white and with the setup after um, c4 e, uh, c4 c6 sorry over here i have examined all ways in which black can try to transpose to main lines of the slav and the semi-slav and um, i have found in in 99 percent of the lines we can we can easily avoid it and uh, we still have a great initiative and this line is mainly used to try and confuse your opponents because it doesn't look too intimidating but actually it has some really hidden uh, hidden strengths by not playing the pawn to d4 and that's why i mean i've played this uh, really a lot and especially in online chess and um yeah i i hope that you have uh, as good results of, as i have had in this line and i wish you all the best and um um, yeah, I just try to grasp the ideas and plans as much as possible because in case you forget the exact moves, these plans would stay in your head and they are quite important to know. So I wish you all the best and uh, good luck watching this uh, course. Thank you.